Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So first of all, the first thing that I want to tell you, <laughs> this guy is uh, watching, I don't know, but he is, what is uh, suspicious or something. <laughs> Uh, uh, the first thing that I want to tell you is I want to thank you all for your support. Huh? That's very nice. Um, don't worry about me. Huh? Um, there's several things. Of course, um, of course, you know, I first did a video. At first, I was thinking, okay, I will post the video when I'm back to France. Because I'm always worried things are changing here in China and I don't know what, what could be the consequence, you know. Maybe I could end up spending time in jail, you know? Maybe I could be kicked out of the country. Who knows, you know? Who knows? There is zero guarantee. You have zero guarantee. So that's why at first I didn't want to speak so much. But then um, these days I told myself, oh, whatever, you know, what the hell? What the hell? Let me do the videos. Let me express myself. I have always been, I've never been a coward. I've never been someone who is afraid. I've never been... Um, I've never been fake. I've always been transparent. You know, so what, I'm not going to change now. I am who I am. I'm not a fake. I'm not a coward. I am not. Uh, I don't collaborate. You know, I am not. Uh, I'm not a fraud. I'm not tricking people. And by the way, Andre, something as you can see, uh, today I'm a little bit red because I did the UVB uh, for my vitiligo. Uh, but I still wanted to do the video, so let me walk a little bit and then um, I can express myself a little bit. Uh, so, what I want to explain, <clears throat> first of all, is the learnings for me from this uh, getting fired and everything. So, one learning uh, is uh, being transparent doesn't pay, being honest doesn't pay. building the subway they are building the subway I think some of you you told me oh you shouldn't uh, show where you live you shouldn't show uh, your kids school you shouldn't show your your employers you shouldn't show this you shouldn't show that I didn't mind because I always told myself in life I have nothing to hide I have nothing to hide you have your opinion I have my opinion maybe you disagree with me it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to me I understand that people don't share the same opinion as me. I am, I, I am, I am open. I am a very open man. So I, I have nothing to hide about my salary, about my YouTube income, about my project. I have nothing to hide. But you see here, being transparent, uh, I didn't want to hide my school or where I live or where my kid is. And then what happens is that uh, because of this, uh, I lose my job. Because some people apparently they don't appreciate that you are transparent. So I can tell you this hurts a little bit. Well, that's the first thing. Huh? In, li in life in France, we have a saying, we say, vivons heureux, vivons cachés. You know, if you want to live happy, you need to live secret. So you shouldn't show anything about your life. It's better to do your videos at your home. Nobody knows where you are. Uh, uh, otherwise, you always have haters. You always people who want to, to make you pay, uh, who want to uh, who enjoy who enjoy when you suffer you know people are vicious some people are vicious so that's the first learning the second learning is about the Chinese system the Chinese system um, so in order to explain about this second learning I have to tell you the conversations that I had with the school with the university so I had the conversation I wrote it down I even recorded the conversation but I don't think I will use any of the footage <laughs> I recorded the audio of the conversation so they, I, I received this uh, letter where they fired me on Friday evening. So on Monday, Monday morning, I went to the office. And as you can imagine, I was really not happy. I was really not happy. And, uh, and uh, this is what happened. Uh, I told them, first of all, when I came, I, I, I told them, I'm really not happy. You send me the letter on Friday evening. I don't have chance to answer. I don't have chance to express my point of view. You don't... Uh, and this is how things happen. And... Uh, and... Uh, this is not... The way you act is really uh, not human. You know, it's not human. You and, and I, we are human beings. 
and you can have some respect toward other people you don't simply do like this and you're gone you know and that apparently that's how they treat people that's how my university treated me oh you're gone go away you know if you want to discuss something come and see me we can discuss it and so that's the first thing okay and then uh and then <laughs> then I asked her, I asked the, the people over there, I asked them for fact. I told them, okay, that, that's fine, you know, that's fine, but can you give me some facts? You're telling me that my videos are against China, you're telling me that my videos are against the government, you're telling me that I'm a racist. Can you give me some facts? Because I disagree, I don't think my videos are racist. I don't think my videos are against the government. I don't think my videos are against China or against the Chinese people. You know, so I asked him to give me some fact. And the thing is, they were not able to give me any fact. So after a while, after a while, you know, uh, after a while, you know, I, um, after a while, um, uh, they gave me uh, some paper where they translated the content of my videos. And I say, and they give me the paper. And they say, look! And they translated seven of my videos. And I said, okay, fine, fine. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, okay, and so what? You translated my videos. Yeah, that's nice. And then I, on the, on the, they, they took some sentence out of the videos. They take them like this. And they say, oh, look at this. You said this. Say, no, that's that's not what I said. This is one sentence of the video. This is my way of expressing myself. You know, if I say, oh shit, you know, it doesn't mean I'm saying shit, you know. It's my way of expressing myself. What's matter is the idea, the main idea, you know, the main idea. Oh, uh, and then after a while, uh, so they still didn't know what to say. And I still tell them, okay, you can say whatever you want, but I don't agree with you. So give me some facts, you know. And after a while, they get angry. So they got angry with me. And uh, you should you should have seen it. I uh, so there was the the woman I was discussing with, who is responsible for the foreign office, foreign affair office, and she was saying, "This is China. You don't know China. You are a foreigner. You are a foreigner. You don't know China. I am Chinese. I know China." And she was shouting like this. That, that's how it's. That's 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 the discussion we had. You know. I was asking her some fact, and she was just able to tell me, this is China, you are a foreigner, uh, you don't know China, and she was really getting angry at it, you know. And after a while, I asked her, okay, this is China, yes, you know more than me, yes, but tell me some facts, give me some facts. And after a while, she said, you say there's gutter oil everywhere in China? You know, <laughs> that's what she was able to tell me. And of course, I told her, yes, that's how things are. You have got oil in China and it happens. I didn't say everywhere. I said if you go to many middle school and the videos that she related to was the videos where you can see the kids who go to eat in the school, in the middle school, in the, in the high school and who have no food, who have no food. They have no food and the food that they are given to eat is cheap food, polluted food, heavy metal rice gutter oil, old meat, and they are given food in very low, little quantity. And this happens, this happens, it's not everywhere, some schools are great, some middle schools are great, some high schools are great, but this happens, that's how it is. Is it bad to discuss this? Is it against the Chinese government? No, I don't think so. It's part of the reality here. This is part of the reality, like this woman, these people, they work here, they are part of the reality. So someone who is doing a hairdresser, he's part of the reality. And you need to watch the reality. Yeah? The meat over there, oh, this is part of the reality. You know, that's how things are. Anyway, uh, so she was trying to make me say what I don't say. I don't know what happened. Uh, the other thing that she, uh, it's, too, it's too noisy. It's too noisy, it's too noisy. It's too noisy, it's very difficult to, to talk. And the other thing that, um, the other video, so after that she say, uh, told me you are against China you're against China I said no 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 no. I'm not against China I'm telling you that some middle school and some high school here they take the money that should go for the food and instead of giving the proper food to the kids 
to the to the teenager, to the students, instead of giving them the proper food, then they will give them this girl oil, or they give them a little quantity, too little quantity, and bad food. Okay. And so after she took another video, and the other video where uh, I this the video that's called Chinese people are selfish. So she said, how can you say that Chinese people are selfish? You are selfish. Well, that's how she reacts. Really say, no. Uh, uh, maybe I'm selfish. I don't know. Your wife is selfish. She's Chinese. And I say, <laughs> so she was like personal attack. Say, yeah, sure. My wife is Chinese. Based on her education, she will behave in a selfish way as compared to someone who has been raised in a different way. Look at these women who are dancing here. They they following the dance because that's their education. You know, that's the education. If in France people are on the street and they refuse the system. You have the people with the yellow jackets, that's because that's our French education and I'm proud of it, you know. And I bet I will tell you more about it in another video. That's the education, you know. Uh, and in China, the education is money. People behave for money. Is it bad to say they anticipate? How much money can I make? What's the risk for me to do this? Why they behave this way? Because that's the society. The society leads them to cross the road like this. The car won't stop. This is like this. This is how it is. This is how it is. Is it bad? Is it good? I am not judging. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Society change. Society change. People change. But you have, you have the social norm, the social standard norm. If I am in a Muslim country, I can marry, I can have five wives, you know. The woman must stay at home and they cannot work in this place. Or uh, they have to uh, wear uh, the hijab and they cannot show their face. That's how it is. This is the culture, this is the society. And this is what I'm trying to explain in my videos. Cultures are not the same. People don't behave the same. The societies are different, you know. And if we don't want to understand the culture and the society, the only thing that we'll have is war. We'll fight each other because we cannot understand each other and we cannot mix. We cannot mix, so we'll kill each other, you know. And uh, what I'm doing is explaining this. Okay. And then she would accuse me, oh, you generalize, you generalize. And then I would tell her, yeah, sure, I generalize. I generalize because this is how things are. People behave in a certain way, following a specific education, following a specific pattern, of course, you know. Plus the discussion we had. Huh? Uh, and then in the end she was like, you don't understand China, you are a foreigner, you don't know, I am Chinese, I know. And then she was telling me, I have been abroad, I know, I know, I have been to uh, UK, USA, Germany, rah, 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 rah. and she was like naming the country. And anyway, so I was refusing and after a while she just simply told me, and I understood that all this discussion was useless. She simply told me, uh, you know, we received the letter from uh, these people, and uh, if we, uh, and then we didn't want to fire you, uh, but then the people send a second letter, and they say, you didn't fire him, you didn't fire George. If you don't fire him, I'm going to write to the police, and I'm going to write to the Education Bureau, and you are getting in big trouble. And this is what happens. The guy who sent anonymous letter, he first sent anonymous letter to the university. The university did nothing. And then he threatened to send, an uh, to send anonymous letter to the police and to the education bureau. And of course, the university would be punished, you know. So this is what I understand. This is what I understand from, from all this. And uh, this is now, this is China today. This is China today. This is also what I want to tell you. That's the second learning. That's the second learning. So the first learning is, if you want to be happy, if you want to be happy, stay, stay hidden, stay secret, you know, because people, people are hateful and they will want to hurt you. That's the first lesson. And the second lesson is, uh, is the second lesson is China is changing. China is changing and you have no more freedom in China. So what's happening is you have some people who are called the Wumao. These guys, they have been writing comments and I know they will be there below my comments using fake profiles and writing so many comments all the time and these guys they are also on Serpent ZA channel on Simielk on Loser Lawai Winner Lawai channels they are everywhere and they control the internet and they are not anybody they are not just any random guy 
they work for the government. They work for the government. So you have to understand, it's not just someone who will write a letter and say, oh, oh, look, he's doing this. I'm going to write, I'm going to write. No, it's not like this. It's not this. They work for the government. You know, this is how it works in China. From a young age, they will be part of uh, some group, you know, for instance, they will be part of, uh, I don't know, the Communist Party for this, the Association of the Students of the Year, the Association of the former Red Guard of this district, the Association of this. They will work for the government indirectly. And that's how it is. And they are inside the mold. And the government is going to use these guys. So they have the network, they have the contact with the government. And it means if they decide to write a letter against you, then you are done, then you are finished, you know, because that's the orders that they received. You know, our friend here, our friend here, he said, uh, this is now the new cultural revolution in China. This is the time of the new cultural revolution, which means now, now it's the same as the under Mao Zedong, you know, you have no more freedom. You cannot write anything over the internet. You cannot write, talk anything on the phone. You cannot write anything uh, on WeChat. If you do, you will lose your job and maybe you will end up in jail. That's how it is now in China. It was not like this two years ago. It was not like this one year ago. I don't think the university would have taken the same decision one year ago, but today that's how it is, you know. Um, so this is happening to me because because of the new policy so this is the, the the other learning that i this is the other thing that i learned okay let me leave you because this is a long video uh you know i feel that i'm being used as a scapegoat as a scapegoat the foreign scapegoat you know um uh, it's very simple i think for the time being you cannot criticize anything so even you say oh this is dirty here or there's live animals over there all oh, the animals suffer you will lose your job and you will be kicked out of China. No. You can simply say nothing here. The consequence for China, are of course, in my opinion, very bad. It means less and less foreigners will come here. People are never going to speak up their minds. They will be paranoid. They will be watching over each other and they will be scared. You know, uh, after this happened to me, huh, I can tell you many people that I know, this it was also the third learning, many people that I know, many of them, they, do, they didn't know me anymore. They didn't want to know me over, over WeChat anymore, over the internet. I would contact them, they would not answer. Because they are scared. They are scared. Chinese people. And, and why? Because you are, I am, I'm being reported to the police. I lost my job, you know. People are scared. They don't know me anymore, you know. That's how the new system works. You are the enemy. You get a bad rank. You ca and then because you get a bad rank, you cannot get a loan. You cannot get a buy an apartment. You cannot get a loan. Your, your kids cannot go to school. You cannot go to the hospital if you are sick. You cannot travel. You cannot travel inside China and outside China. You don't have any access to the internet. That's how it is, you know, big brother, big brother. And it's not only about foreigner. This happened to me and it's happening to all the Chinese people and it's going to be, be worse and worse. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I don't know. I think, of course, for the individual who gets targeted, it's not very nice. For the country, yes, it will help to keep the unity of China. It's going to help to keep the unity of China. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, uh, we can discuss more in an, uh, another time, huh? but uh, uh, we'll, we'll discuss all, all about all this in another time. Huh? Let me leave you. Uh, à bientôt, les amis. Huh? And uh, uh, yeah, I, will t I will speak to you more in another time. <laughs>